Right now, we're in Riverview, New Brunswick to check out a brand new pilot program from Hockey New Brunswick that looks to get more kids on the ice at the same time. This is the Shared Ice Jamboree, and it's designed to showcase the benefits of cross-ice hockey and shared ice practices at the IP level. Check it out. It's a, it's a new program, the uh, IP Demo Day, that we're piloting here in Riverview today. Uh, the plan is to next year run about 10 in the province of New Brunswick. Uh, it's an idea I got from a colleague in, uh, at Hockey Saskatchewan. And uh, they basically do it to promote cross-ice games, shared ice practices for their IP programs. Uh, the goal for us here in New Brunswick, we, uh, a lot of our minor hockey associations really do a good job of having cross-ice games and, and sharing the ice between, uh, between their teams. So the goal here today is to promote age-appropriate equipment. So through a grant through the government of New Brunswick, uh, we were able to buy uh, dividers and uh, small nets and lightweight pucks. So the goal of our program for this year and for next year is to, to show minor hockey associations the benefit of age-appropriate equipment. Recently, Hockey New Brunswick's been talking a lot about it, Hockey Canada as well, and uh, we've been doing it for years, so we really opened up to the idea of ha having Hockey New Brunswick uh, come down here today and run this program for us. Uh, they're doing a great job with their IP kids, so we really want to push it in IP and novice and have the kids do a lot more of the age-appropriate hockey, I guess we call it. The, what we want to do is, is kind of simulate a real hockey game for IP novice age players, so uh, we want to give them a, a positive hockey experience. So obviously uh, having small ice means more touches for all players, uh, more realistic scores and games. Uh, you get more more playing time when players aren't digging pucks out of the nets all the time. Uh, you know, it's just it's more fun. To, it just simulates a, a better experience. It simulates a, more of a real game for initiation players. We're seeing a lot of kids start later too, like in Novice Two this year. I think it was like almost 25 to 30 percent of our kids started in Novice Two. So when they start late like that, it's important to try and develop skills with those kids before they move into Adam Hockey. So our technical director has been working a lot with that age group to try and develop the skills that they need to move on. We actually can start at four years old now in Riverview Minor Hockey and across Hockey New Brunswick. And we really encourage those parents to start bringing their kids out at a young age so they get to learn the skills and grow with the other kids as they do. Uh, obviously everyone has that one kid that just pushes the puck around everybody and wants to go around everyone. Uh, this gives everybody a chance to be involved in the play. It makes the, the kids that are a little bit more skilled uh, work on their puck handling, their passing, because they can't just push the puck around everybody. And while at the same time, it gives those other players the confidence that they can stop those guys and, and, and they can get the puck and, and score the goals themselves too. So it's, uh, yeah, it's obviously a great retention tool for us when, uh, when four, five, six-year-olds start playing the game and they love it right off the bat. And then they want to keep going to seven and eight-year-olds and then by the time they're uh, nine, 10 playing the full ice game, they're, they're already in love with the game. So that's obviously, uh, a huge goal for our IP program. I'd like to see Hockey New Brunswick push it. Uh, a lot of the associations, you know, become, if we can run all our uh, novice games half ice, that's where I'd like to see it go. Because to me, it's all about development at that age and the kids to, will touch the puck a lot more. They're engaged in the play. And with the smaller nets, I think it's big for goalies at that age to be able to feel the puck when they get, uh, you know, and with the small nets, it enables them to become involved in the play instead of just uh, 20. 20 nothing game in novice. Now we're seeing games that are 3 2 or 5 4. So I think it's all good and I won't really want to see it to grow in Riverview Minor Hockey. Riverview's done a great job so far. They've already they've already bought into the using the 2 by 3 nets. They did it in their uh, IP Jamboree. They have the rink dividers. It's a great great asset for any minor hockey association to have have the equipment available to them in their rink so their coaches can use it every day that they come to the rink. Um, it's obviously a huge culture change for a lot of associations to, to get away from using big nets and get away from being using, using the full ice. So uh, it's great to see programs like Riverview uh, adapt what they've done to, uh, to make IP better for, for their participants. So at all the age levels, it's important that they're developing at the skill level they're at. And by running stations like they're doing here today, we can tailor the drills to the level of the kids. So when the player's first starting out and they're just learning to skate, you might want to run a drill a certain way. When the kid's been in hockey four years, you can scale it and have the kids try something a little more advanced than the other kids. So when all the coaches work together on the ice, it enables us to develop them at all different levels right up through 
to the elite player from the beginner player. So I think with the half ice hockey and doing it this way, it enables all the kids to be involved at an early age. It's kind of funny that it's taken hockey this long to kind of catch up to those other sports you see in basketball. You would never see a six or seven year old playing with a 10 foot net. But for some reason, we're here we are in 2016 and some people still think that five year olds should be shooting on big nets and skating the full length of the ice. So uh, it is a culture change and, and we'll get there. It'll be in two or three years, you'll see people won't even dream of using full ice for, for five year olds. But for now, uh, our goal is to just introduce this to minor hockey associations, to parents, to community leaders and how, hope everybody buys in and, and create quality programs for, for our young players. Any feedback I get from, from parents or from the couple of kids that I've talked to, they, they really enjoy getting the more touches, obviously. And we have lightweight pucks, so we have four-year-olds who can come out here and lift the puck now, and they get excited about that. So uh, it's about building confidence and, uh, and, and having fun out there with their friends. So I, I've, I've heard a lot of positive feedback so far. This is going to grow. Uh, like I said, in New Brunswick, we're a little bit ahead of the curve right now. Uh, Hockey Canada is kind of revamping their IP program, so we kind of want to be the, the, the trendsetters for, for all of IP hockey in Canada. So we kind of just want everybody to follow our model where you go to any rink and you see uh, IP players playing cross ice hockey, half ice hockey with all different types of materials, whether it's ring, uh, ringette rings, lightweight pucks, uh, tennis balls, whatever it is, just to, we kind of want to be the trendsetters for that. And, and just have a really quality program that you see all across the province.